hey guys hello hello to everyone good morning um from the last backing up video uh i was very i'm thankful that i was able to catch such a bright clip and the dude that i was helping out he was i don't know his personality was very assuring <laughs> i guess he was he was cool even out through the backing up and like he literally stepped out the truck and um, started conversing with me about how he, and I mentioned it already, he wasn't, a, he never started out with company. He's trained into owner operator. He's been out here for 16 years. He was like, for newer drivers, newer drivers should come out, um, or it's better for newer drivers to start off in Volvos. He is a Peterbilt 379 type of guy, and for the, as his classic. He said Kenworths are some of the best trucks. He agrees with me on the automatics. He says the automatics are, like, backing up is, mm, <laughs> it's a lot to deal with. And he don't, mm -mm. but he said on the road, Kenworths are some of the best trucks on the road. But his main preference is the Peterbilt. Also, um, he says something like along the lines, it might be moving a little bit because they unloaded me. Uh, so this is my first this was supposed to be like a trucking specific <laughs> type of video so hopefully it was helpful now I wasn't able to catch uh, Crete on camera because old dude started talking to me he started asking me questions that was like personal and I'm like um so I started like nah this is irrelevant <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't really I didn't want to answer everything he was asking me but I told him I've been out here since August the 4th on my own um, today's the 30th of August and I have done well over 10,000 miles <laughs> and I don't know I'm just pushing for real for real. I'm ready to go home I already said that definitely and I don't know dude was cool dude was really really cool and he gave me some tips in terms of his load that he's on he came from I don't remember what he came from but he had 350 miles on it and this man said this that load was paying him two racks and I'm like okay that's what's up <laughs> <laughs> like he said um someone else one of his friends went from Missouri to I can't remember but it was not nowhere near over 700 miles that was paying him five thousand dollars and I'm like oof and one thing he did say that it's better to start off with smaller carriers because with the mega carriers they don't focus so much on the employee and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just really, really trying to gain the experience of what I need to help me advance further on in my career. But right now, I'm not. No six months, I'm out. Seven months, I'm out. <laughs> as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, I'm trying to stick with Stevens as long as I feel like I need to. But I'm not into the whole company hopping limelight. I'm not with that. I don't want to really company hop right <laughs> now. Um... I will have to say I have met some interesting people. One woman, I was in Indiana, and this lady got four kids, and the husband stays with the kids, and she she works for a refrigerated company that start with the H, and she's been she was with the company for a year, and she's making like she's leasing though. She says that she brings home around fourteen hundred dollars, and I'm like, that's what's up, <laughs> like you know, so. She, she was really, really inspirational, and she, was, she wasn't standoffish. Like, she was okay to talk to me. And I've seen one video, one woman's video. I honestly, when I started this, I wasn't thinking nowhere near about uh, truck driving. I wanted to do videos about hair and, like, how to do certain styles because that's what fascinates me. Not no damn truck driving. So, anyway, so when I started this, I was like, women discredit other women. For their accomplishments for their achievements I don't understand why and I don't see how people not even only women men and women like men should be able to embrace and empower other men women should be able to do the same for other women and I feel like if you are able to do that you can honestly assist somebody way further on down the, uh, the road in life if you just give credit give credit when it's due to everybody because I'm like I'm so serious when I see other women out here they be acting like they can't Speak. They look at you with a mean mug and everything, but they act like they can't speak. But I do be, oh, hey, how you doing real quick? And some of them, they just stare, of course, but some of them come correct. Some of them, some of them are courteous, you know? 
So I appreciate that. But other women, I feel like, are so focused on, oh, what she, what she look like, or what she got on, or how she too thick, or she too short, or she too tall. Like I, oof, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> man, I don't understand it. I hate it, and I feel like, like we're backing up when people are backing up. Instead of just sitting there waiting for somebody to just run into the next person or just say something. Like, what the? why is it so hard to just speak up and, like, voice your opinion? Say something. Especially if you know when you when that person is way too close to this or that. Yes, they should be getting out in the look. But everybody don't be getting out in the look. So, I could definitely say that uh, this guy out here... Even when, after, before he started asking me for help, he started, he just walked around the whole trailer, getting down and look. So it's like, I don't know, like people should be able to assist people when it's due. And I say, if you did decide to come out here, it's going to be hard for you. Like, it's, if you have children, if you can't be, if you're super family oriented and you can't be away from your husband, your spouse, your wife, or whatever, if your kids, it's going to be tough. Very, very challenging. Unless if you can compartmentalize some of your emotions and some of your overall everything of what you got going on, you'll be fine. But other than that, like, it's very, very challenging. With me, I could deal with it. Because <laughs> it's... It's a part of my personality. I can deal with it. But with other people, it's like, they just, I don't know. It's very, very challenging. 